Hey everybody, my name is Nick Madsen, and I'm the Emerging Technology Librarian for the Community Library Network. We're really excited to talk about our new service that we're offering, which is 3D printing at your library. Libraries have always been about giving access and exposure to technology and information. For the longest time, books were information and technology that we needed. Then it became ebooks, or e audiobooks, or databases. Now it's 3D printers, it's augmented reality, it's desktop manufacturing, it's virtual reality. And we want to make sure that you have access to that technology as well. So we're going to dive in to our program here at the library. Uh, we're going to be using 3D Printer OS today. We're also going to be using Tinkercad and Thingiverse. All your steps are going to be down below on this website. And if you have any questions, call your local library or drop in. We'll be happy to help you. Welcome to the world of 3D printing. We're happy to offer this service and we're just gonna be charging the amount of material that you're going to be using. There's a couple of terms to know. The first one is going to be a project, a cloud folder that holds your files on 3D printer OS, a file, a digital file uploaded or being adjusted on 3D printer OS, typically an STL, a .obj or a .gcode type file. They contain three dimensional information, a model, a virtual preview of your finished product, 3D printer OS, a cloud-based 3D upload and queue system, and Slice translates the virtual preview into 3D printer instructions. Steps one and two only need to be completed once. For the best experience, use Google Chrome. To find a 3D object that has already been designed, you can go to thingiverse.com, or if you want to create your own project, we suggest tinkercad.com. Download your 3D file onto your device before you're using 3D Printer OS. All right, so now that you are aware of our 3D printing program, let's go ahead and get started by going on to 3D Printer OS and getting your account set up and ready to use. The first thing to know is that if you're under the age of 16, go ahead and use a grown-ups account. Now that we're ready, we can go to cloud.3dprinteros.com and click the Sign Up tab. Now you can enter your first name, your last name, an email address, and a password. For your organization, put in Community Library Network. After agreeing to the terms, go ahead and click Sign Up at the bottom of your screen. Click Upload on the top menu of 3D Printer OS. Click Projects, that toggle button near the top of your screen, and select a project folder you have already created, or start typing to create a new project folder. This step identifies the project folder name that your file is going to go into once it's uploaded to 3D Printer OS. Click Choose File and locate the file on your device. If your downloaded file is in a zip folder, go ahead and upload the .stl or the .obj file rather than uploading the entire .zip file. Click Save and go to My Projects. You will now see a list of your project folders and default files uploaded by your library. So the next two steps are going to be addressing the layout view of 3D Printer OS. These next two steps are to ensure that your model is facing the right way and is the right size. If you're unable to see the right-hand menu under the layout view, go ahead and decrease your browser window zoom. Use the following commands to reposition your view of your model in the layout view. To rotate your view, Hold down the right mouse button and drag the screen to rotate your view. To reposition your view, hold down Shift and your right hand mouse button to drag the screen.
click My Files on the top menu of 3D Printer OS. Click My Projects in the upper left of your screen and click the drop down arrow on your project name to reveal the files inside. Click Layout on your chosen file. For .obj file types, click Repair to translate the file into an STL file. Click Rotate in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. A Rotate menu will appear on the right of your screen. Use the negative 90 and plus 90 buttons on the right of your screen. During this step, ensure the base of your model is touching the box floor. To position and save your model, to make sure that your menu options are in view, go ahead and click Move in the upper left corner of your screen. Click On Bed and Center in the right-hand menu to ensure your model is inside of the 3D printer's build area. Click Save in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. There is now another file in your project folder, your original file and your modified file or files. Click My Files on the top menu of 3D Printer OS and click My Projects in the upper left of your screen and click the drop down menu of your project name to reveal the files inside. Click Layout on your chosen file. For .obj file types, click Repair to translate the file into an STL file. Click Scale in the upper left hand corner of your screen. A scale menu will appear on the right of your screen. The proportions are listed in millimeters. Adjust the number of scale to percentage in the right hand menu to grow or shrink your model. To position and save your model, to make sure that your menu options are in view, click Move in the upper left hand corner of your screen, click On Bed and Center in the right hand menu to ensure your model is inside of the 3D printer's build area. Click Save in the upper right hand corner of your screen. There is now another file in your project folder, your original file and your modified file or files. So now we're jumping into preparing your model for 3D printing. Click My Files on the top menu of 3D Printer OS. Click My Projects in the upper left of your screen and click the drop down arrow on your project name to reveal the files inside. Click Slice on your chosen file. Under Select Slicing Profile, choose Default, Speed, or Detail. If your model has features that hang down or over empty space, consider checking the Supports box at the bottom of your screen. Once you have all of those settings to the way you like them, click Slice on the bottom of your screen. And that's the end of preparing your model for 3D printing. And this is going to be the last step. Now that we have uploaded our model, we've rotated and resized it, and we've prepared it for 3D printing, now we're actually going to send it to the 3D printer. A quick note, the print option will only appear on a file that you've already prepared for 3D printing, and you can see the previous step for instructions on how to do that. Click My Files in the top menu of 3D Printer OS, and click My Projects in the upper left of your screen, and click the drop down arrow on your project name to reveal the files inside. Click Print on your chosen file. Find the library closest to you on the list and click Q to the right of that printer name. You're then going to enter four different pieces of information, your library network card number, your library pickup location, your filament color, and give us a little bit of information on the model designer. You can then click continue on the bottom of your screen and a message will appear that estimates the cost, time, and weight of your finished model. Click Go to Printers on the bottom of your screen to see your model in the library's 3D printer queue. 3D Printer OS will send you a notification email when your order starts printing and when your model is completed. 
Library Dremel 3D45 3D printers have a built-in camera that captures a time lapse of your model being produced from start to finish. The time lapse video will be attached to the email you receive when your print is completed. And that's the last thing that you're going to have to do. The library will take it from there by having our 3D printers manufacture that model that you've just ordered from us.